Hello everyone, this is Ria. Welcome back to our channel. Pepper is the king of spices and I use it almost every day. But I never know how it produces. So today videos, I'm gonna take you to take a tour at the La Plantation in the mountain of Kampot province. Let's go with me. Here. I am a tour guide here. Nice to see. I guide you to see the pepper farm, yeah, to show you around, to give you some information of the pepper. Okay, cool. In Cambodia, the most popular and tasty pepper comes from Cambodia. La Plantation is the name of a pepper plantation in Cambodia province. It's owned by a European couple and it was started back in 2013. It took one year to clear the land and get it ready. They were able to grow their first crop of pepper in 2014. The plantation is about 23 kilometers from the town. There are 45 hectares in total, 25 of which are covered in pepper plants. In the high season, there are usually around 300 farmers and factory workers working the plantation. In the low season, that drops to 150 people. Around 80 people live on site year-round, and all the staff are provided three meals a day. They can harvest the pepper every four to five months and they can produce around 20 tons every year. And they export to about 13 countries around the world, but mostly in Europe. 408 posts? Yes, oh. Yeah, so the, the plant grow along posts. It's like why they grow along uh, the wooden posts. Yes. But for now, you cannot go into the plant, sorry, because for now it's coming the uh, dry season. So they make the soil like this, as you see, to keep the water here. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so we make the soil like this to keep the water here. First, they start with flower like this. It's flower. Right, okay, it's a flower. And then the peppercorn grow on it. There are three different types of pepper. Red, white and black. I assume these each came from different plants. However, they are all harvested from the same plant. When the pepper is ripe, it is green. If it is really ripe, it actually turns red. The green pepper is really popular. We pick them by hand like this. Everything need to pick them by hand, cannot just machine. The fresh one is really, really popular, but here we don't sell the fresh one because cannot keep so long time. So we come to pick one by one, corn by corn by hand like this. And then we boil in hot water to kill the battery. And then we ferment it with salt. We don't sun dry for the young green pepper. If okay. you sun dry, we lose the flavor. So you just keep it with salt. Around two weeks, you will can uh, use it. Mm. We name it salted pepper but the color will change to black. One more thing, the young green one like this, if you don't want to use with salt, after boiling hot water, you can dehydrate by machine. So after dehydrate, uh, the color will change like light green. Just before you use, you need to keep it in warm water. So mm. after five or 10 minutes, it will be like a fresh peppercorn again. So you okay, can like so the, the warm water is yeah, yeah. to become back like a fresh. Yeah. You wanna try? Oh yes, sure. Green pepper, only fresh pepper. After process, it will be black. So black from the green. Mm. So actually black, red and white pepper actually from the same plant. 
Just depends on how wow, long that you qu- keep. It's quite spicy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's spicy, yes. The workers collect all the peppercorns and then they are dried. The green corns turn black and the red ones stay red. They have to be careful to harvest at the right time as if all the corn turn red, they will fall to the ground. The white pepper is produced by skinning the black peppercorns. They all have different distinctive flavors. Ah. So we come to pick everything here. We s e r e d red by red, green by green. The red one by hand, because the skin of the red one is soft. So okay. If you use machine, you will destroy. The green one you can use machine. So we just pick the red one by hand out, and then you put the the all green in the machine. So the machine will tear it up from the stem. So the red pepper and the black pepper just come from like the same tree. Yeah. These pepper plants are originally from India and were brought to Cambodia by Chinese way back in the 13th century. La plantation also grow l o n g s pepper, which is originally from Indonesia. They use coconut leaves to protect the peppers from rain and sun. The plants last around 10 years. And they can harvest them every month. Cambodians usually use these in soup or curry. Once they had successfully mastered the art of growing pepper, they decided to diversify and now grow all kinds of different spices. Those are long pepper that we grow. It not a lot, just a small part for it because it's not so popular and not many people they know it. But when they know long. it, it's really nice. So the long pepper. Long pepper, yes. So different types of camphor pepper. Okay. Let me come choose. Just when you see the plant, it looks similar. They grow the same. They grow like one, the same thing. How to grow? How to pick it? The same. Just. The fruit completely different. For the coconut leaf that you see, we just want to protect them from the sun. Pepper grows well in mountainous areas, but there are many mountains in Cambodia. So why is the best pepper from c a m b o d Well, the combination of the high mountain ranges and the proximity to the sea makes the s w i c e And weather around here excellent for growing and makes the flavor of the pepper even more tasty. And also, the pepper not only grow in c a m p o t you can grow it everywhere in a mountain area. So like Ratanakiri, m u n d u l k i r i or Kapong Cham Province, also yes. you can grow the pepper as well from the same plant. When you see the pepper, it look the same, but when you taste, you eat it, you will find it's different. Because that's quality of the soil. Okay. Yeah, because the soil in c a m p o t is a mountain area, plus with the sea, so plus with the wind from the sea, plus with a really good climate. Special place. Yeah. And also, not everywhere in c a m p o t that you can get the best quality. Just this district, like c a m p o t two district, Dong Tong district, and Kampung t r a t district. That's there around the, the sea. Okay. That you can get enough wind from the sea. Okay. And also, if you make, you want to make sure that the pepper that you buy is a real PGI pepper, real Campot pepper, or not? You just see this logo on the packaging. Right. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, like this one is PDO European label that we received in 2016. KPPA Campot Pepper Promotion Association to protect Campot pepper from the fake pepper. Right. Yeah. And PGI that we registered in 2010. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's good to know because I want to get some pepper when I go back home. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you. They use a traditional method of sun drying the peppercorns. Then they are all sorted and graded by hand, ensuring only the very best corns make it past quality control. La Plantation follows the strict international food safety standards required for overseas markets. Mm-hmm. 
This amazing place support the people who work there. They have kids' house for the children of the workers. There are currently about a hundred kids who study there. They have English class and library too, so the kids can spend their free time there after public school, which is in the village. They even have a scholarship program for the children who have finished high school to send them to study at a private university. After my tour around the site, I tasted all the flavors that they have. They are all very tasty, but my favorite was the pickle one. Okay, so for now we finished for the testing. Thank you. Wow, thank you very much for everything. I learned a lot. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Now we finish our tour and tasting of the compost paper and I got some to take home. I hope this video will inspire you to taste compost paper and visit this place if you are in Cambodia. I found out that it's really fascinating to learn of the each step they when they process the compost pepper here just because everything's done here even packing and stuff if you like this video please click the like button comment and subscribe for more videos and I hope to see you guys in the next videos please stay safe bye bye